Good morning guys, we are out here at Three Mile Bridge. I am going to be throwing these live fiddler crabs on a little bottom sweeper jig. Let's see what happens. I think I'm on. There he is. I don't know what it is, but I got something. Little sheep head. Woohoo! That's the first one. Woohoo! I did not feel like getting soaked. Thanks. First sheep head, guys. First sheep head. All right, guys. Got there, buddy. Hit fish. Basically. All right, sheep head can be, gotta be 12 inches. He's definitely 12. Not the biggest one. All right, so he is sitting right at 17 and a half inches. See right there, 17 and a half. All right, that is a keeper, guys. We might make some sheep head tacos. So what's crazy about these guys is look at those human teeth. It really never gets old seeing them. It's pretty insane. Alright, so we'll set him there. Woo! First fish, guys. That's that's what's up. Hopefully we can find some bigger ones, but that is a start. <laughs> now these guys are razors, man. So as you can see, look at those razors on the back of those fins. Razor teeth. They they love to poke holes and things. We're gonna slide them right in there. All right, so we're out here at Pensacola Bay Bridge. We just got the first sheep head of the day. That's actually what we're targeting. We're throwing this bottom sweeper jig right there. We got a two and a half foot fluorocarbon leader. It's about 25 pounds. We're using my Shimano Noski. This is a 4,000, oh, this is a 5,000 actually XG on a St. Croix Moho inshore. So we are gonna get another fiddler crab on there and let's see if we can't find some more. Also, if you're noticing, I got my a rod holder back. Um, if you watched my last video, I dropped it in the ocean. Well, it got ripped off into the ocean, I should say. I had to buy a new one, so we, we got that all hooked back up. All right, so we're taking these fiddler crabs and we're going right through the knuckle right there. And what we're doing is we're sticking just there. Right up, let the barb just come out and that's how we're gonna do it. I fished with a buddy the other day, we were sheephead fishing, and he was doing really good on this bright yellow sweeper jig. So I'm thinking maybe that yellow attracts them. They see it a lot better. So we're gonna go back over there and see. Oh. We're getting hits. My camera on. Oh, there he is. Well, that's a good one. All right. Oh, come here, bud. Yep. All right. Another one bites the dust. Uh. Oh. I'm telling you, this yellow, dude, I don't know what it is. that little yellow sweeper jig doing the trick let's throw these back in here hey, look at that guy he is pretty like i said earlier you can see they just have death spikes on them and look at those look at that smile guys he's been going to the dentist you can tell this was a target species we got two so far it's it's early it's chilly the wind's starting to pick up but let's keep fishing so we'll get a measurement on him this guy from up there to back here is a little bit past 18. It's about 18 and a half. That's a nice one. Nice 18 and a half inch sheep head right there, guys. We are going to put him in the fish bag. We're gonna make some sheep head tacos tonight. So that was my second sheep head, guys. It's a, it's a little cold, a little windy. Hopefully we can find some more. We only got a limited time because it is gonna get 15 mile per hour winds out the east. 
So this bay is gonna be rocking and I'm not gonna be out here in my kayak for that. So hopefully I can get a few more sheep head and go home, do a little cleaning cook for you guys. Got to use that Hobie reverse since I don't have the 180 drive. Oh, James is on a beast, guys. Go ahead. All right, guys, check that out. You're almost there. I can't do it. I think we're tangled. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a red though. Oh, he popped off. I still have him. You got my line, that's why. Oh. One of us has them. You got the red, you got a red fish. You got my line all tangled. Oh wait, I got mine. Nope, wait, there it goes. You stole my fish. I think so. Like I think he ate James it. literally just stole my fish, guys, like off my hook and all. That's a slot. Yeah, he is. I know, you just stole him from me. He literally just stole that fish from me, guys. Oh, yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, he is. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Hold on, let's do that. Beautiful fish, guys. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice red fish. He's a slot red, 25 inches. Nice and juicy. All right, so that video was crazy. James literally stole that fish from me, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you click the like and subscribe button if you've been around for a while. If this is your first time tuning in, I hope you enjoyed the video. This video is brought to you by Carl's Fishing and Outdoors. It's a bait shop, basically, that's online. They have huge deals going on right now. You can save tons of money. And I always get a majority of my bait from there. As you can see, a lot of the apparel you'll see me in my videos wearing, a lot of the lures you'll see me using, I actually get from their website. So make sure you check them out. The link will be in the description. So I want to thank them for sponsoring the video. I also want to thank all of you at home that tune in week in and week out for these videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. And the next video we have coming up, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of traveling. I know you guys enjoyed that last traveling video from Sebastian. So I think this will be an awesome another little trip to see if you guys like that. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.